Hello everyone and welcome to today's Mr. Robin story time. Today's story is an adventure of a cat. A cat in this story and I love the expressions on the cat. See if you do too. The title of the story is The Wish Cat. Let's begin. The Wish Cat. Holly's house had a cat flap. It was a small door in the big door, <clears throat> so a cat could come and go. But Holly didn't have a cat. One night, something magical happened. Holly saw a falling star. As the star trailed across the sky, she made a wish. Mm, I wonder what she wished for. I wish I had a kitten, she whispered, a tiny, cuddly kitten who could jump in and out of the cat flap. <clears throat> Crash! Something big landed on the windowsill outside. It wasn't a kitten. It was Tom, the scruffiest, most raggedy cat Holly had ever seen. He sat there in the moonlight, smiling a crooked smile. Meow! I'm Tom, your wish cat, he seemed to say. He's smiling just there. It, it, it's a mistake, cried Holly. I wished for a kitten. Tom didn't think Holly had made a mistake. He rubbed his torn ear against the window and howled so loudly it made him cough and splutter. Meow, ow, ow. Holly hid under her quill, hoping that he'd just go away. She is hiding. The next morning, Tom was still there, waiting for her outside the cat flap. He wanted to come in, and he had brought her a present, a smelly, old piece of fish. Ooh, disgusting. Yuck, said Holly. She picked it up and dropped it in the dustbin. Tom looked puzzled. Bad cat, she said, shooing him away. Go on home, said Holly, walking across to her swing. But Tom was there before her. He sharpened his claws on the swing and washed his coat noisily, pulling out bits of fur and spitting them everywhere. At lunchtime, Tom sat on the windowsill, watching Holly eat. She broke off a piece of her sandwich and passed it out to him through the cat flap. Tom wolfed it down, purring at the window. In the afternoon, a cold wind swept through the garden and Holly had to wear her jacket and scarf. Tom didn't seem to feel the cold. He followed her around, chasing leaves, balancing on top of the fence and showing off. Soon, it was time for Holly to go indoors to tea. Bye then, Tom, she said, and stroked her ta his tatty head. Tom followed her across the door and settled himself by the cat flap. It's just next to it, look. That evening, it snowed. Gleaming pom-poms pom of snow danced in the air outside the cat flap. Tom curled himself in a raggedy ball to keep warm. Soon there was a white cushion of snow all over the doorstep and even on Tom. Holly heard him meowing miserably. Meow, meow. She ran to the cat flap and held it open. There she is, look, just looking for the cat flap. <clears throat> Tom came in, shaking snow all over the kitchen floor. Poor old Tom, said Holly. He ate a large piece of food and drank an even larger bowl of warm milk. Tom purred louder than, uh, than ever when Holly had dried him and the towel, um, and he put the towel in the kitchen. <gasps> Look, a giant towel there from the kitchen. Soon, Tom had settled down, snug on Holly's bed. Holly stroked his furry head and together they watched the glittering stars. Look at the stars from the window. 
Then suddenly another star fell. Holly couldn't think of a single thing to wish for. She had everything she wanted. And so had Tom. And there they are at the end. The end. The end. I really like that story because it shows, although Holly wished for something different, a little baby kitten, it might be for you a little baby puppy or whatever, but she got something and although it wasn't originally what she wanted, by the end of the story, she really grew to, grew to love Tom. What I'd like you to do now is, as always with a story like this, can you sequence that, uh, the events of the story using those four or five key time words and placing and sequencing the story in order? So for instance, first, then, next, after that, finally. Drawing pictures perhaps or a sentence for each one. That would be a really good um, way to remember the story, uh, as well as repeating it. Um, also, the cat in this book is called Tom. Now, he's a ginger cat, just here. But could you design and draw your own cat? What would he look like? And make sure it's not a kitten. Make it a little bit of a scruffy cat. What would he be doing? Would he have a, an ear longer than the other? Would he have some scraggly whiskers? What would your cat look like? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.